Hello everybody, part of my head is cut off, and this is some damn good tea, and uh, I'm out of my normal surroundings, and I don't know what's going on, help me. Some damn good tea, though. So yes, as many of you know, I am moving, and I'm moving very soon, in fact, and there's a car going by. I'll wait. Okay, so, uh, I'm moving, uh, which I did say many things. I just made an update video uh, five days ago. I'm, I'm looking at my YouTube page right now. That's what the light is uh, because it's like 8.19 in the morning, and uh, the light is not very good because it's very cloudy out, and I'm kind of in a weird corner, and there's a dog on my bed behind me. And, yeah, this is technically the living room of the house we're moving out of. Now, many people have been asking questions and all kinds of sorts of things and whatnot, and uh, I'm going to answer a couple of them and tell you what's going to be going on in the next week or so. Another car is going by. I'm going to take a sip of my tea now. God, that is some good tea. But basically what's going to happen and why we're moving... First of all, why we're moving. Uh, various reasons of why we're moving. Um, we're moving to British Columbia, as many of you know. I live in Nova Scotia. I live in the small town of Mount Uniac, Nova Scotia. Um, mostly I say Halifax, but I'm moving, so stalk me if you want to. It's not going to be me here. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, small town of Mount Uniac, Nova Scotia. I remember leaving. Um, my dad works out west, actually. He is a uh, truck driver out west. He hauls gas and stuff around or whatever. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what he does. Uh, I am a filmmaker, technically, by trade. That is what my college jury says, so apparently that's what I do. And so they cut the film tax credit here in Nova Scotia completely. Uh, there is very little in the way of new jobs opening up. Excuse me. The only films that are currently going on are generally hiring the older people that are staying. And a lot of us new graduates, because I only graduated in April, uh, are completely uh, fucked. Uh, we're up shit creek without a paddle. So, yeah, kind of sucks, but that's the way of the world so i have no real future in this province anymore and this province is really really bad just search up nova scotia um go to some of our local news sources and just look at some of the stuff that's been happening um in in favor of like cuts and stuff they fired a bunch of librarians at one of the school boards because they couldn't afford librarians anymore um which is sad to say but yeah this province is going downhill very very quickly so that's one reason. Another reason is my mother would just like a change of scenery, which I can't blame her. BC is fairly beautiful um, as far as countryside and stuff like that goes. And um, my sister just wants a, a change of scenery as well and to um, kind of reinvent herself, I guess, uh, which makes a lot of sense. I won't go into detail about why, but um, it makes a lot of sense anyway. Now, another question is when, and I'm sorry I'm not looking at the camera very much. It's very early. I'm tired. I'm just staring at my tea. I'm going to take another sip. The win is Monday. Monday the 27th is when we leave, um, and it is roughly a seven-day journey, which means I'm going to pull up my calendar because I can't do dates very well. It means that a week from Monday, so roughly on the 3rd of August, we will arrive at our new home in the small town of Summerland, British Columbia. Now, you can search up that on Google Maps to find out where it is. You can search up directions from Mount Uniac to Summerland if you really want to to see how far that actually is. It's far. And Google Maps also brings up the American routage, which is a little bit shorter than what we're doing. We have to go through Canada because my mother does not have a valid passport because she's British and lazy because she doesn't want to go get another passport. Can't really blame her though. It's like $170 or something for a new passport. I had to get one a couple years ago. Uh, because I was traveling to Europe occasionally, which is interesting to think. I, I was a frequent traveler to Europe from Canada. That is not something that happens very often for somebody in their t early 20s. But that's what happened. But anyway, we are not going that route. We are going the Canadian route, which is 200 kilometers longer, I think, uh, than what it suggests on the whole American route. I Roughly, um, we had to uh, work it out slightly differently. So yeah. Uh, roughly 200 kilometers, which is about two, two and a half hours longer than the American routage, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're driving for seven days, you, that two and a half hours really counts because you just want to stop driving at some point. But, oh well. So yeah, uh, Monday, July 27th is when we leave. We're packing up the truck this Friday and everything, um, and then that's that's it. We leave on, on Monday. So, yeah. That is what's going on there. So that means that videos... Uh, well, what does that mean for videos, I guess, uh, should be the question. Now, I plan on recording the trip 
as much as as much as possible. Um, so whenever we stop and stuff like that, certain stuff that we drive by or or commentary while we're driving and stuff like that, it's going to be a lot of driving vlogs basically. Um, interesting facts or queries or some whatever the hell I happen to record, I'm going to mash into vlogs and hopefully we'll get a couple of vlogs out of that and so I can upload periodically throughout that week. Once we arrive at the house, we still have to unpack, we still have to figure out internet and all that kind of crap and get people in to, to uh, uh, fully hook up for us and, you know, go on a plan or whatever. We, we're not sure what's out there for internet and plans and stuff like that. So... Uh, that means that uh, it'll be roughly another week before we have internet again uh, fully. I'm fully set up with my whole setup. I mean, I have my whole setup here right now, but being upstairs with my mother, my sister, and soon to be my dad, as well as three dogs and a cat, it's really difficult to record videos, especially Supreme Roller stuff that's like a half hour long, because I don't really get a half hour gap without anybody bothering me. I'm lucky to get the like 10 minutes that I currently have to um, record this uh, more than anything, so yeah. Um, I can't really record much. Uh, I might be able to record maybe a couple of Let's Get Flashies or something like that before we pack up this thing. Maybe be able to get a console minute, maybe, and then put it on an SD card and then upload it, uh, have it schedule upload for the week that we don't have internet. Maybe, crossing my fingers, that I can maybe get that done. Um, but I, I'm not promising anything. So until roughly, I would say, August 15th, 16th, so mid-August, that will be when videos start to get regular again. Uh, but don't expect regular uploads. Uh, actually, don't expect any uploads at all between now and then. Though I will upload something. Some sort of vlog something from the midpoint, at least. If, excuse me, if I can't vlog enough while on the road. Now, I'm not going to be, like, driving and vlogging. I'm going to have... I have a passenger. They'll record me. That's fine. They'll record what I want them to record. Because they're in my car. They're going to do what I say. So, uh, yeah. I am one of the ones that's driving. My dad is driving the U-Haul truck full of our stuff, and I am driving our car, the Chevrolet Trax, which is out there. So, yeah. Um, that's what's really going on uh, fully. Um, if you have any questions, I don't know why you really would, but you might, um, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Um, if you have any recommendations or anything like that, um, leave them in the comments. If we happen to be on your route and you want to say meet me for some reason, leave it in the comments. Uh, I probably won't be able to, but you know, we'll be stopping. God, that is good tea. Um, we don't know where we're stopping. I know the first night we're stopping in New Brunswick somewhere, either in Woodstock or Grand Falls, and then the second night I can imagine us getting probably as far as Montreal. Maybe a little bit beyond Montreal just to get out of Quebec. No offense to anybody that watches us from Quebec, but I don't really like your province very much, and it doesn't like me. A friend of mine actually was kicked out of a KFC because he didn't speak French. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah, yeah, Quebec, yeah. Again, apologies to anybody that's watching this from Quebec. I'm sure you're a great person, just your province is, in general is uh, <clears throat> kind of terrible. So, sorry. Um, oops. But anyway, uh, this video is dragging. Uh, I just want to update you guys what's happening when we're leaving, when videos will start to get back to normal and stuff again, when can we expect certain things and whatnot. And yeah, so I will see you guys sometime, probably, uh, during the drive. I have a laptop to edit on and upload on it, like the hotels and stuff, so uh, I will have internet to be able to do stuff. And, of course, you can like Facebook page and stuff like that. I'll probably be updating that most of all uh, throughout the travels, so interesting things we see, pictures we take, well, that I'll all upload on the Facebook page, which I will have linked uh, down below, and there'll be an annotation telling you, hey, you should probably go like the page, because this is like the end of the video, and most of you probably haven't watched this far. So... Like the Facebook page. That's where a lot of the updates will be. Maybe even on Twitter a little bit, but uh, Facebook definitely. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all at some point. Peace.